if you look at history any history any civilization is judged by the quality of its arts the quality of its sciences together its math its astrology its sciences whether it is ancient india whether it is mauryas guptas um, mughals whether it is babylon whether it is rome greece always नमस्कार मैं हूं भावना सुमाया और हमारे आज के रंगमंच के एपिसोड में एक ऐसे व्यक्ति है जिनको वैसे तो मैंने हज़ार बार देखा है और बहुत बार मिली हूं मगर उनका इंटरव्यू मैं पहली बार कर रही हूं और मेरा सौभाग्य है कि पृथ्वी थिएटर के ट्रस्टी कुणाल कपूर का इंटरव्यू पृथ्वी थिएटर में हो रहा है ये पृथ्वी थिएटर नहीं है एग्जैक्टली exactly, उनके ऑपोजिट एक पृथ्वी हाउस है जो उतना ही खूबसूरत है जितना पृथ्वी थिएटर है सो so, कपूर साहब सबसे पहले तो जी सब सो आई वॉन्ट टू नो दैट यू आर द इनहेरिटर ऑफ दिस वंडरफुल फ्रेंचाइज दैट पापा जी स्टार्टेड लॉन्ग लॉन्ग अगो एंड आफ्टर सो मेनी डेट सो मेनी ईयर्स इट इज स्टिल द टच स्टोन ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स ऑल ओवर इंडिया How does it feel? I don't know. Do you feel proud? Do you feel pressurized that you have to live up to this reputation? Uh, be yeah, conscious. Yes, there is a pressure. Definitely, there is a pressure. Yeah, mother, some some fathers, some people inherit millions of crores. Some people inherit liabilities. I inherited liabilities. So it is a liability. It's something that one struggles constantly to keep alive and to keep pushing it. It is a liability. Uh, it's a perception. It is also uh, a blessing of art, passion, talent, a constant search for the right people to perform, knowing that you're not making mistakes, giving opportunities to all the uh, talented people. So. How do you correct yourself? How do you watch yourself? There's no formula. First of all, there's no formula. It's uh, not a perception. It's a reality. The perception is that they only see the you know uh, the surrounding the outside, but under the cover. Nitty gritties. That nitty gritties. Um. So. it like i said it is a struggle to uh, keep it alive to keep it going to keep it functioning um always how does one choose or how does this one feel it just by god this by god or as an ekin continue to all of you you make mistakes they kafi good things are which are not good take it you carry You can't be perfect. The important thing is that it should be warm, welcoming, and it should have a good atmosphere. It has perhaps the best atmosphere for all artists to hang out there, to have a cup of coffee. I mean, here yeah, the artists are just for coffee. They don't come. They don't get a table. Yesterday, Makar was complaining that the table is empty. I said, "Ab jaake bolo." They are remembering 40 years back the big book Kali. There's a need for it to change. So we do it in some manner. So I mean, even number of shows are improved. You know, Earlier, I'm not. I think my name is about 35 shows, 38 shows or something. So if you calculate that, about 350 shows a year. Now we do about six hundred and forty shows. Forty years ago, uh, the ticket used to be, I think, ten or twenty rupees, and on Saturday it used to be a little more. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I know. Also, what was the price of petrol in those days? You know, I mean, what was the price of cigarettes? We are still, I think, now finally, theaters become on par with cinema. in ticket pricing we were the probably one of the only countries in the world jahan 
थिएटर टिकट्स वो चीपर दैन सिनेमा टिकट्स जी कहीं भी जाओ लंडन जाओ न्यूयॉर्क जाओ कहीं भी यूरोप में इट्स उल्टा यू पे प्रीमियम फॉर अ लाइफ परफॉर्मेंस तो समवे दे बिकेम दिस कांसेप्ट बिकॉज़ दे वर लैक ऑफ थिएटर सारे थिएटर सिनेमास बन गए थे ओपेरा हाउस एडो थिएटर सो मेनी अदर थिएटर्स इन ऑल लैमिंग अपना ग्रैंड रोड पे दिस टू बी ऑल लॉट ऑफ सिनेमा थिएटर्स व्हिच हैव बिकम सिनेमास If I have a copy of a letter um, dated, I think in '52, I think somewhere around that time, just before independence, yet just after independence, where Prithvi Raj Kapoor has written to Patel's personal assistant, complaining that he has done a successful tour of Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Madhya Pradesh, and come back to Bombay. and he can only get to perform at opera house at 8:30 in the morning because there had become a cinema there were no theaters ab ye un ye tam ki baat hai so there became a situation where repertory companies including the three theaters had closed down all the passi theater companies had closed down and it became just you know um is a hindi theater at that time when prithvi was built was only in chabaldas dubey log karte the chabaldas mein Marks, but so it was treated as you know we Step are intellectuals line. and intellectuals and you know um, cheap and you know kind of very kind of our Bohemian kind of attitude, not professional. So that had to change. And I think it it has to change. You cannot expect to pay the same uh, for a recorded material. against a live performance now it's happening i mean uh, there's a rock concert happening in january here which they're doing one ticket is 80000 rupees what do you i mean the theater needs to not 80000 but it needs to become a little more expensive so that is sustainable and we need more theaters i mean that is definitely a thing but unfortunately people are not building theaters that are viable they're building what i call auditoriums jahan kuch bhi hota hai but the only people who can afford it are award nights or corporate you know uh, share nights sangeets you know weddings so i i was thinking about what you said that you know the glamour and the opulence looks from outside because the actors are performing some actors come to watch them but the machinery the everyday struggle to keep it alive to keep up the standards is tough and it's not now it was there even in the olden days when papa ji used to perform my father says that when the show was over he would wait with a chadar and with his head bowed and everybody put money in that so that was i mean i heard he that they definitely he did that but why did he do that because he was collecting funds um for the refugees it was at the time of partition so the shows were ticketed okay you know uh, i mean shows were ticketed jahan tak i remember a story that dad telling me i mean he was a young teenager somewhere it would have been in central india either madhya pradesh or up and they had shows there and there was a full on uh, riot you know fight college students among the college students i think where they were staying hostels and there was a full on issue issue was college students naraz ho gaye that they were not getting free tickets free tickets ah now we know <laughs> that most places the politics in colleges are uh, superb so so they were now why would they be attacking and having a fight over tickets about free entry because that means the tickets would be sold so i think there's a slight uh, miscommunication there where papa ji used to do that but he was collecting funds for um uh, people so at the time of partition stories also i've heard like you know matunga mein jahan rehte the us waqt um it was like a refugee camp i mean one of the famous stories was okay we're digressing from theater but this is a lovely story 
Yeah. That there was this lady who had lost her husband in the in in, in the um, partition, yes. and um, she was alone, and she came to ask Babaji for help, and Babaji asked her and said, "What can you do?" She said, "I can cook." She said, "He said then he can cook," and she cooked for the whole street, Masani Road, and. Uh, her name was Tarabai, and I remember she used to always bring. She's the one who created the portable tandoor. Every every um, party, celebration, wedding at RK, Tarabai was always there, and all she did was make naan, the yeah. tandoor. And um, till date, I've never had such. Chote the itne bade. They were delicious. Karan and I used to all stand there next to the tandoor. What Karan and Karan used to get them straight out of the tandoor, you know, makhan laga ke, and then eat them. But that was an example of of um, that uh, that uh, that Kandar culture, Kandar. that house, and what he was like. It, so I'm very curious to know that that was Papa Ji who was collecting money for the refugees. He was also empowering women, men who could do whatever and utilizing their talent. and that was also evident in jennifer when she started running the show or pioneering the show at resurrection of prithvi theater you know but so many of them my father met mom mom was working she was performing Kendall with her theater. with the candles with shakespeareana my father was performing with prithvi theaters kolkata mein they met the two of them the groups came together and that's when they met and when they started fell in love um after for a while dad joined shakespeareana and then when they got married mom joined shake up uh, prithvi theaters so you in prithvi theaters you know they are photographs she's wearing a sari she learned how to do how basics of kathak of bharatanatyam how to dance she would perform in the in the plays you know as a crowd um as part of it so there were women performers i mean zora segal um, um, azra at a time where in other theaters in traditional theaters even your ramlilas you didn't have women playing sita you had men playing men sita so i don't think you know what i don't honestly don't think there was any kind of a hardcore Um, philosophy or decision that we must promote. It was just a natural progression. So organic. Like, we don't see it. It was organic. We were discussing this, in fact, last night um, with a friend of mine, and uh, how even in my office we were talking about how things work. I said there's never been a deliberate choice. that you should employ women not employ women employ people from this caste or that religion or that color or that it it didn't matter it it was it just didn't occur to you so it wasn't like you were making a, a, a conscious, a conscious no it was just natural i mean i was giving my 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 own company as an example i said there was one person who i know who complained and said that i don't employ women in my company but strange it was a fact at that point when that lady said that i didn't have any women working in my office but subconsciously without any effort without anything two years later the women outnumbered the men in my office and it wasn't a conscious thing it just that you know these things evolve they just happen important thing is that you don't see the difference and that is what i think prithvi raj kapoor a particular i mean imagine the prithvi theaters you have a company which are predominantly north indian hindustani urdu speakers a lot of them from punjab from lahore peshawar you know um, like people like prayagraj you know who would always still write in urdu script yes. you know they didn't yes. write in devnagari or english yeah um and openly accepted this angrez woman you know in the company yeah the, there was no issue I don't. So it is not the same today. Unfortunately, even politically, so it was. 
dissect and analyze before even meeting up that person. No, but you also now we formed government bodies also to monitor interfaith marriages or you know mixed things. It didn't occur to us. It didn't occur to us, and that is, I think, our true heritage. My grandmother used to go to Mahim Church every Wednesday. She used to go to temples. She used to go to Gurdwaras. When my grandfather died, also, you know, the last ceremonies, cremation, but the last ceremonies, we had a, you know, a priest from the Gurdwara. We had a priest from the church. We had um, Arya Samaj a priest also. Maulana bhi thai udha. Well, everything. We didn't feel it. So that was a psych then. And I think that continued. You know, my my father came and also with us. So even in the theater, these are not matter. We don't even censor. As long as you're not vulgar. You can say what you want. You can do what you want. There are plays that are performed here. That other theaters do not allow them. I mean, vagina monologues is one. Um, vagina monologues now has become probably the only theater where they can perform. But we don't censor. We don't differentiate. You know, whether you are a new person who's come from a village, or you're in a, somebody else, you know, from a family, or from it doesn't matter. Your work is what is important. You know, I was just thinking that uh, your journey has been really um, dynamic because when you were young, you watched uh, your father as a film actor, then your mother taking over the theatre and you were a filmmaker and a successful filmmaker that had a successful production house and uh, very revered and admired by your actors for whatever USP you brought to your movies. Then came a time when you took over this and for a long time now you are doing this and sometimes you do movies, sometimes you act, sometimes you direct, but this is your full-time work. Well, not entirely true. Okay. So, <clears throat> so yes, I mean the first five years of this avatar of Prithvi Theatre, which opened in 1978, on the 5th of November uh, with Udhwas Dharamshala on Puri's company performing Udhwas with Naseer also was in it. Um, I wasn't here. Mom and Dad were the trustees. So Dad was very busy in those days, 78. Um, you know, his career again had picked up. And so the, my mother used to handle the more, but we had Dharam Sibai was the manager. Yes. So as an Inki, she had to be here every day. But Hafte mein do baar she used to come here, you know, from town. She used to run. So my mother died in 84. Um, 83, we had a, she had her first festival celebrating five years. And her wish was that every year we should have annual festival. And it should be a celebration of theater, like what all true festivals should do. They, they're like a vitamin B complex jab into the trade. You know, it gets the people together and gives a certain amount of excitement, um, both within the fraternity and also with the audiences. So, in 84, it was impossible because she was ill and then she died in, in September. Um, 84. So, 84. So, then seven. I became um, the trustee after that. Or 84 man after that we came back, she died in England, we were in England last few months, she was there. So people were saying, Abhi Prithvi Theatre will shut down. Stardust, I remember, had a big front page cover and trying to find that in the article that it had become a prostitution and drug den. Um, Indian Express, I remember clearly, had put an article that Shashi Kapoor had sold it to a shoe company, a shoe shop. So I came back and I said, this is nothing doing. First of all, because I was shuttling and more, we were all in London at the time and I was shuttling back and forth. Utsav was being completed. Um, Firoz, uh, Firoz Khan, Abbas yeah. Khan. Firoz has been involved with Prithvi right from the inception, from the beginning. And he was also close to mom and you know, he's also very, you know, very attached to Prithvi. So, I remember this clearly, the mom died in the morning um, on the 7th of September 
and there were no mobiles in those days. My first reaction was to leave the hospital. Karan went to go and report that get the death certificate. I went to find a booth, a phone booth, where I could call Bombay and call Feroz and say, listen, Feroz, um, my mother has passed away, but make sure the theater does not shut. The show has to go on, they will not shut the theater. So that is the concept, that is the kind of belief that we have that the show must always go on. You don't shut for anything. The stage must never go dark. So I came back and then I was adamant. I said, no, you know, I think my parents did not do this. He was in a pansal kitchen and then it's going to close down. So with the help of Feroz, both of us, we put together a one month festival in February. And we put it back and we got it rewired and we got work done because the building had been neglected a bit. So we were looking after the theater. Now my career making ad films and producing and directing started to take off. And it was in much later, it was in the 90s when I was getting incredibly busy. Um, we also lived in South Bombay and Sanjana was floating around. Uh, she was, you know, she had done Amul shows, she had been traveling, she was not really, I was making, giving her, you know, money, she was living independent. So I said, you want to, you know, work in an ad firm company or advertising? She wasn't interested in that. But then I said, oh, why don't you look after Prithvi, you know, on a day to day level? Because we were struggling with managing. Dharam Sibai had passed, and, uh, you know, there was no real good manager around anyway at the time. So she said, I know nothing about it. I said, there's nothing to know. You learn. I mean, I just throw you into the deep end and you learn how to swim. But until you jump in, you'll never know. So that's what I did. And um, she then got more and more got involved in running the theatre. So she did very well. And of course, so this out of the perception. So you're interviewing me now. And you said you've never interviewed me before. One of the reasons is I would never give interviews regarding theatre. Because it is not about me, it's about the theatre groups. And I refused to do that. And I was like always in the background and I didn't want to be in the foreground. And because of that, then Sanjana Ayitri, and then Sanjana is also beautiful. So everybody wants to talk to her because she's beautiful. So everyone said, okay, now Sanjana, you know, is the way she But Sanjana would, would complain that she would have to travel to Rajkamal Studios or Film City to come and talk to me. Alright, these checks need to be signed. And then she'd get angry because she'll come at 10 30 in the morning. I said, But my shoot kar raho hai. I'm clean I said, You have to come at lunchtime. No, I can't come at lunchtime. I said, but you have to, you're coming to meet me, I'm not coming to meet you. So we used to have our little arguments on this. So I was never not involved. I mean, the, this is a fact. I mean, it, it's just that always stood in the background, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe as a kind of Chanakya. You know? mm. But um, so yeah, it was nothing new. But then in in 2012, approximately, then Sanjana started her own company, which to me was already new late. We always, everybody in our family has created helicopters. This is the time. Everyone in our family has always created their own space. So Prithvi Raj Kapoor had Prithvi theatres. He acted in films to support his theatres. Right, he, or whatever income he got from films, he put into his theatre company. Um, Raj Kapoor built RK Studios. He did, and he worked with. Shami Kapoor did his own thing. He worked as an actor. Then he just he retired. Then again, he started working again. Dad did his own thing. Then Dad also made, you know, um, started producing films, created film balas. I created ad from Wallace, I was doing my own business. Karan was a photographer, he was doing his own business. Sanjana was still not working anything on her own. She's working under something. Yes. And I said, you have to start, you already need to move out now. And now you have the luxury, you, you have a, you know, a, a security, a good husband, you have a good home in Delhi. You have the security, you should do that. 
which is what she tried to do with junoon and uh, tried to you know set up so when that happened then i'd also moved here that also that period she moved to delhi i'd moved here i was closer so i was more aware of what was happening on a day to day basis just because of proximity um so it was a, just a slow transition of where she kind of you know participation became less so how does it feel to wind it up how does it feel today um how do you look back on the journey of the prithvi theater how different is it from what papa ji had dreamt what shashi kapoor had thought what jennifer had thought and what is your vision ahead where will the money come from to sustain all the expenditures that's a very good question donations but are you doing it aggressively are you asking people because it should be easy to get it it's not easy to get it unfortunately we have lost the art of patronage um we have generally lost the art of patronage our government does not support the arts at all um the government is, uh, treats the arts traditionally not just this government but i mean um always it treats stars they're very happy with them when they want to campaign and they want votes and crowds but they don't support the industry they don't support the arts and when they try to then there's a colossal waste of money and a lot of political interference so there's no genuine um growth if if prithvi theaters managed to do what is managed to do is because there is no political influence there's no i mean from us also like i said is we don't censor yeah subject we don't censor content yes we will maybe turn around and say that this particular play really is atrocious and i don't think we should give you dates or we we'll turn around and say that okay now that you've done very well and you're doing very good and you know you're traveling and you're making also you don't need the space because it's cheap is that to provide a security you know uh, economical can kind of security to the performing company so yeah it's difficult getting the finance um lockdown was very interesting because in lockdown we had several incidences where you know I me mean, we didn't let go of any staff um as always you know staff how uh, they rely also what helps them a lot in that they will survival is the tips that groups leave behind after their performances so we reached out to the groups who had dates in that period of the lockdown okay. who could not perform okay said if you had been performing here you would have left a tip to the um, theater companies if you can send it. send it to the trust you can qualify as a charitable trust atg will distribute it with the staff every single group was sent every single group not one exception and not even just one some of them sent more then you know just ad hoc people like um people like uh, um sipla you know he just out of the blue said i think i know you need it i just sent a check not once twice no lockdown fabulous you know but how many one person what about all the actors who are coming here who have you know, started their careers who have become stars now it is they should be sent not out. one not not one who are performing here regularly what is it but i can give you a list that will go on the pages of the number of actors and people who started their career who come and been picked up from this stage all right and gone through now that that is the ambition of what we want we want to promote theater but there are a lot of them very few like nasir who keep doing theater otherwise a lot of them i don't want them they don't come back again so that happened then book my show also the tree collapsed uh, behind destroyed um, the bookshop destroyed damaged part of the building you know um, book my show came forward with their book a smile they came forward with a donation they helped 
सो ऐसे करके बट लिटरली टू थ्री पीपल बाकी दे वॉन्ट द नेम दे वॉन्ट द डेट्स Not this name. They want their name on it. Okay, so if I'm donating, I want my name. They want a name there. They know they want a name. We don't allow that. Yes. But that's it. Where do you get philanthropy? Where do you get? I mean, can I say, "Yar, I'm polio victim and I'm destitute women and I'm uh, uh, no ways that you'll get money." But when you say for the arts, arts, you don't get it. And the contradiction is that if you look at history. any history any civilization is judged by the quality of its arts the quality of its sciences together its math its astrology its sciences whether it is ancient india whether it is mauryas guptas um, mughals whether it is babylon whether it is rome greece always genghis khan was not known he came and he murdered and raped people but he left no civilization then in fact he left no civilization so we post independence nehru did a huge contribution to the sciences with the iits and the universities but they ignored the arts they completely ignored the arts so most of them ignore the arts but there is a kunal kapoor was always associated attached felt passionately about prithvi theater from the very beginning when he was a young boy to this date it is sad that he is always keeping himself in the background and never taking the spotlight he gives spotlights to the others but that doesn't matter because i'm privileged and fortunate to be chatting with him about theater about the whole history about his journey about his forefathers father and the family Remember you are watching me and Kunal Kapoor on Rangmanch. Thank you.